with uh, the the fact that you had some wild years in there, do you, do you ever look back at this stuff and think, well, I'm just glad I'm alive? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, man. I count my lucky stars. I think uh, I, I nearly drank myself to death a few times out there on the road, you know, and yeah. had some close calls. You know, we almost crashed in an airplane in the Italian Alps back in like 2001. Whoa, and, whoa. I, I never heard this story. Tell me this oh, story. Dude, so we're uh, – we're on our way to from Switzerland to Italy and we're going over the Alps and we're coming down in Northern Italy and I'm asleep on this plane. It's just like a small little, you know, puddle jumper. There's probably 10 of us in the plane and we're coming down and I wake up and the plane is just (laughs) rattling, rattling, rattling. And I look out my window and I see that all I see is the ground straight down. And it's probably like, 30 to 40 yards, you know, so maybe 120 feet. Holy crap. The plane is sideways, right? Sideways. Here's the landing strip. The plane's sideways, wing down. I'm looking at the ground and I'm just like, it's like the first thing in my mind is it's fucking over. Like I'm going to die. And then the plane just, and then comes down and lands on the runway. Like it was the smoothest land. The once it was like, he leveled it out. It was like smooth landing. I was like, Oh God, this is terrifying. I about lost myself. And I was like, I got all upset. I was like, what the fuck dude? Like, are you, what's going on? You know? And he's like, Oh, well, when it's like in a high wind situation, when you're coming down, it's a technique where you like turn the plane sideways. And I'm thinking, is this guy bullshit? And it was just one of those moments where I was like, yeah, rock and roll. It's nearly so killed a few times. Th- this would be the point where you make up a great story, true or no, that this is what led to the song, The Ending. <laughs> right? This is the start of the ending. Right? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it honestly felt like that way for a few split seconds in that moment in my life. I was like, this is it. This is, this is, this is, it was a good run. Fuck. Seems like it's before my time. Oh, we're landing safe. <laughs> And it's off to the gig. Yeah. And literally we went and we played this snowboarding festival and it was minus 13 degrees Celsius. And we performed outside and it was us and exhibit. I remember this specifically. And uh, we were, we were drinking Hennessy before we went on stage. Exhibit's like, man, it's too cold out there. Y'all need to drink some of this Hennessy. You know? So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll warm up with this Hennessy. And I remember looking at Jerry and he had like, icicles on his on his stubble by the end of the show and i'm just like man and our booking agent got us these jackets like a a couple months later we came back and uh these he got us these like parka real thick heavy down jackets and it said the coolest band on the planet minus 13 degrees celsius papa roach i was like all right cool i got a cool jacket out of it do you still have the jacket though? Did you find it in storage? I, I chucked that thing, man. I remember I was like, I'm oh gonna no. In California, it's like, you know, thick bubble goose. Yeah, there's been stuff that I've let go. <laughs> <laughs> 